All right, it's Luis Sandoval, FightHype.com, here with Hugo Centeno. First of all, man, you're sparring with Kid Chocolate, man. You got in there, did a great session. How, how, how is he looking? How are you feeling in there with him? Uh, you know, man, I'm feeling, I'm feeling great right now. I'm feeling really good. been training really hard. Um, just keeping him busy, keeping him strong, applying pressure. Um, you know, I'm not a southpaw like Andy, but uh, I do pretty well as it. If you guys can remember the last fight or this last sparring session. Um, so, you know, he's doing, he's looking good, man. Um, opposed to the first week when we started. Um, you know, he's a little slower, a little sluggish, but you know, that's what it is. He was off for a while, but uh, right now he's looking great, man. He's in great shape. Um, he's doing 12 rounds, no problem. All the way through, he's finishing strong. Right now we had a, some good championship rounds, yeah, finished right. finish to the end. He was going out on the shield and so was I. And uh, that's exactly what the type of work that he needs. That's why he calls me back. And he says that uh, I'm the best um, sparring that money can buy. So, you know. I appreciate it. To me, that's a compliment, you know, working with those big guys like that. And so he's great. He's great. He's, he's prepared. When you, when you spar like that, do you ever, do you work with the fighters or do you like go all out just because, you know, the fighter, the opponent's not going to go any easy on him. Do you feel like you need to go all out in there too with him? Uh, you know, it. I, he calls me for the work and I try to mimic the other fighter. But being this close to the fight... You know, we have the same coach, which is Coach Eric Brown. He tells me, you know, I need you to make sure that he's going to be prepared for those final rounds. I can't have him just cruising to, towards those championship rounds because, you know, he wants to win this title again and he's hungry. So, you know, I make sure that he works those final rounds, apply as much pressure as I can so he can be prepared and he's aware for anything that happens in that ring. You know, he's fighting the southpaw. Hugo, how, how difficult are southpaws? I mean, do you like fighting them? Do you have difficulty fighting them? How do you approach it? And is it something that all fighters kind of, you know, a little worry about? Well, you know, I want to say at least a little more now today, there's a little more southpaws, but for the most part, you're always fighting a righty. So when you fight, you fight that southpaw, you know, it throws you off. And even just training for it, I mean, it's still a little awkward, you know, bumping jabs, bumping knees, stepping on feet. I mean, those are all little things that, that I try to help him out with so he can be aware of them. But it's it's tough, man. It's, it's tough. It's something different. That's why I feel like a lot of southpaws have the advantage coming up because, you know, they're used to fighting the righties. And conventional fighters aren't used to fighting those southpaws, so, so it's it's a tough task. And then trying to mimic one is an even tougher task. I mean, so you're so used to being a righty, but you know I do my best. I I, I do what I can, and people seem to love it.